Just when you thought you'd seen it all, this fight came along and absolutely shocked us all. It is fair to say that few ever expected this fight to take place, let alone to end the way it did. This huge upset saw the most celebrated titan in boxing do his best to fend off an opponent with an established history of dethroning heavyweight champions. But who the fudge could we be referring to here? That's right, you got it. This is the Destroyer, aka Andy Ruiz Jr., stepping up against the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury himself. Looking at the two here, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is an unlikely match. Andy Ruiz has been claimed by many to not have the typical physique of a world-class athlete. Nevertheless, no one can deny his absolutely destructive punching ability, insane speed, and incredible resilience in the ring. Just look at Ruiz here. This is a man whose deceptive stature only goes further to increase his ability to cut through his opponent's defenses and strike while the iron is hot. But what about Tyson Fury? Well, Fury clearly needs no introduction. At 6 foot 9 inches and with a whopping reach of 85 inches, it's safe to say not many are able to hide from his radar like boxing skills. Not only that, but with a staggering record of 31 professional heavyweight wins, 22 by devastating knockouts and only one draw, it's not hard to see how this elite warrior is considered to be one of the best boxers on the planet today. Just take a look at him here. Said it before and we'll say it again. Tyson Fury has got to be the world's favorite heavyweight champion right now. But how does Andy Ruiz Jr. match up against the Gypsy King? Well, surprisingly, Ruiz actually has more fights under his belt with 34 wins, 22 of which by knockout. Forget the stats, you have to witness Ruiz's skills to really appreciate them. What happened last time our Mexican warrior stepped up to an established heavyweight champion? You must have been living under the bed with your head in a suitcase if you missed this. Here we go, round number one, heavyweight championship of the world. Good uppercut and a hook, puts Ruiz down. Andy's a type of boxer, if you touch his face, he's turning a devil. Ruiz comes to fire back, and Joshua's hurt! This was when Ruiz did what no fight fan expected was possible back in December 2020. The Destroyer stepped in the ring with none other than Anthony Joshua himself. Not only did he give him a run for his money, he actually put the champ down not once but multiple times. Can you imagine that? Fight fans across the world note Ruiz's intense, scrappy style of boxing as being a serious threat to Tyson Fury's usual slick performances. In fact, one thing Fury may not be used to dealing with is the way Ruiz is able to easily work his way on the inside. Once positioned in this spot, he has proven time and time again how dangerous he is at unleashing rapid explosive combos of left hooks and uppercuts. Just look at the damage he caused against Anthony Joshua here. Critics are well documented in pointing out the insane torque on Ruiz's left hook. Getting hit with one of these is seriously no joke. But surely Tyson Fury would easily manage such an onslaught. It's no secret that Fury is one of the most skilled and technical heavyweights of all time. This is a man whose footwork and fainting make him incredibly elusive. Indeed, many fans have left the stadium absolutely terrified after Fury's ghost-like display. Just look at the way he dealt with Klitschko here. Tyson Fury! The Veld Meister, Dr. Steel Hammer! The big question, what happens next? Be my commands at all times above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. It's a career-defining moment of truth. Putting the trigger, 
To the scorecard, to the winner by unanimous decision from the United Kingdom. He's done it! Of the world. There is a new era in heavyweight boxing. The long-reigning European champion was barely able to lay a glove on Fury, and even seemed to be psychologically subdued by Fury's constant taunting. Indeed, the constant switching of stance from orthodox to southpaw and back again, along with the genius footwork, proved more than Klitschko could deal with. For these reasons, and many more, the Gypsy King is considered a master at his craft. The problem is, up against Andy Ruiz, Fury needs to prove he could withstand one of the Mexican champion's deadly combos at close range. If these proved more than enough to take Joshua out multiple times, who's to say they wouldn't send Fury straight to the canvas also? But how strong is Fury's chin exactly? Well, if his second fight against Deontay Wilder is anything to go by, there may be room for improvement. Anyone remember when this happened? This moment put the fight world on pause as Fury did his best to take a punch from one of the hardest hitters in the entire division. There's simply no hiding from the fact that when this punch landed, Fury was left flattened on his back. This was a devastating blow, no doubt about it, but is that what happens when Fury's chin is put to the test? Who's to say Ruiz couldn't do the same thing? No doubt he has the power, but what about Andy's chin? Is there any evidence he could withstand the full force of one of Fury's knockout punches? Given the size of his frame and his masterful boxing abilities, surely the Gypsy King would have no trouble in putting Ruiz down. Well, many fight fans beg to differ. They say that Andy Ruiz has proven before just how insanely strong his chin really is. Again, this was in his first fight against Joshua, which saw him take the full force of one of AJ's most ferocious uppercuts to the face. From Joshua. Watching this back, you can almost feel Ruiz's head becoming detached from his spine, and needless to say, he was immediately sent sprawling to the canvas. But what did the destroyer do next? That's right, after taking a short moment to regain his breath, this hungry young incumbent got right back up and did exactly that. He destroyed. The destroyer unleashed an insane onslaught of crazy flurries that this time sent AJ tumbling. What kind of man is capable of this level of endurance? This is why many believe that if Ruiz is able to penetrate Fury's defenses, it's only a matter of time before he takes down the giant. Even if he gets caught on the way, he has proven his ability to get back up and win, though many still disagree. They point to Fury's epic trilogy fight against Wilder back in 2021, which saw the Gypsy King demonstrate a hugely improved ability to execute knockout punches. I'm gonna smash your fucking face in. Fuck fucking face in. You prick. Is there anyone else? Are you not entertained? You prick. Fuck <laughs> fuck your mama. How about that for a fucking message? Fuck fuck fuck. Hey, the Gypsy King. I'm from I'm gonna smash your fuck 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 I'm gonna smash, smash, smash your <laughs> Indeed, Fury's knockout power seems to have vastly increased with catastrophic effect. To take down Wilder, the Pablo Picasso of boxing knockouts, and beat him at his own game is a huge achievement. Just look at these punches, absolutely devastating. Fans of Andy Ruiz keep their faith in his insane speed and ability to avoid such an attack. Rumors have circulated that Ruiz has spent many hours in the gym recently with none other than Canelo himself. If there's anyone who can sharpen Andy's skill set in the ring, it's Saul Alvarez. If Ruiz was able to take out AJ back in 2020, just imagine what he is capable of now. 
Good luck to anyone who stand in his way. But what do you think? Does Andy Ruiz cause another major upset and absolutely crush Tyson Fury to cement his legacy as the champion slayer? Or will Tyson Fury prove yet again that his superior boxing movement and technique is simply too much for any mere mortal on this planet? Stop what you're doing right now. No, seriously, stop what you're doing. Grab your mouse and scroll down to the comments section to let us know how this fight ends. Finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and right jab that bell icon for future updates to our videos.